Go to boy check out my today. This video is going to be about how you guys can reduce lag on GeForce Now. So, now that the free version of GeForce Now has come out, I noticed I'm lagging a lot more compared to the beta. And I assume this is because many more people are using the app now, which is causing the servers to overload and therefore leads to mine and many others' games to lag on that specific server. So, this video is going to be about how you guys can essentially reduce lag. So, what you guys are going to first do is open up GeForce Now. And you guys are going to click the settings icon in the top next to uh, the send feedback. And most of you guys are probably on auto. So what I want you guys to do is first test and see if you're going to lag or if you're not going to lag. So just click test network. And also I want everybody to, if you guys have 5G, then use it because 5G is much better than 2.4G. Uh, and that's because 5G has better bandwidth than 2.4G. So yeah, I recommend everybody to use 5G for GeForce Now specifically, but not every uh provider has 5G. Some of them just, they don't mention if they have 2.4G or 5G. So yeah, so right now it says you may experience high stutter or latency. So what this means is you guys are going to lag on this specific server. So you guys are gonna close and you guys are gonna start experimenting with different servers. So I'm gonna go down and I'm going to try Northeast. And yeah, I even, I even changed my, um, per, uh, my Wi-Fi provider just because I was lagging so much and it was unbearably laggy. So I changed, and even still it's not that I upgraded my Wi-Fi to 150 Mbps and it's still not doing anything. But I mean, uh, more Mbps doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be better. But it's it's a much better provider. And so, yeah, this server is not going to work either. You guys just have to experiment and see which one is the best. So in Canada, I normally go for Northeast or Northwest or East too. But those don't work. So you, just, you guys just have to keep experimenting and see which one really works. So, yeah, I'm just going to wait and see if it works. But if it says you are all set to stream, then go on the server right now. Also, do note that some of them do have very long queues. And if they do, then do not do it. Just I'd rather uh, go for the lag instead of waiting like for 400 people queue, which is really annoying. Normally for me, Midwest uh, in Canada, Midwest works fairly well. Sometimes it can be a bit more laggy than I than it says. But... Yeah, it literally ha it has the shortest queues most of the time, and that's why I use it a lot. But my main two go is uh, my bandwidth and my frame loss. So it's this is probably because I'm upstairs right now because five G doesn't have really good range. Two point four G probably has better range, but I'm upstairs right now. If I'm downstairs in my house, then I probably wouldn't be lagging as much. So you guys have to keep experimenting between the two, and. As you guys can see, I'm not really, I'm not really running full bars. Well, it, now it's saying full bars, but before it wasn't saying full bars. Anyways. So we're just gonna, you, you guys just have to experiment with every single one of them. And yeah, and then you, and then up after that, you guys can just check out and see which one works the best for you. For, so right now, uh, I don't know why nothing's working. Well, it's not saying that it's gonna work good. But I'm, I would take a little bit of latency. Uh, cause that much latency isn't that bad. Obviously 40 is the best and you're not gonna lag as much with that. But I would normally go for Midwest, even though it has a high latency. So anything above 80 is gonna be really laggy. So if, if, if you guys go to, wait, if you guys go to the, the details of it, and see how much latency you have. I think anything above 80 is going to be way too laggy. The The average should be 40 to 50. And you guys should have at least 40 bandwidth. I think. My internet. I don't know. It's not being really good today. My internet's getting slower and slower. As quarantine goes. But you just have to go for every server. And try and see if all of them work. So yeah. I'm just going to try all of them out. And if it says your network supports streaming up to a maximum resolution of 1366 by 768 at 30 FPS, cause, well, that's my resolution. If it says at 30 FPS, then do not do it. 
So you, sh you guys have to try different servers because not all of them will work. But you, and then after that, you guys can compare and see which one works the best. So it does take a while, yes, but I feel like it's more worth it in the end because like if it's really laggy, then it's because it, it's unbearable to play. And uh, yeah, that's why. Uh, you guys just have to test it out. Not recommended. Normally, East Two probably works the best, but it has the highest queues, so I will try that right now. And until I find something decent, I will try it. And I'm just gonna wait. I do recommend everybody to get the GeForce now because it's pretty useful, even though you lag. For me, I have a uh 7200 u i think which is not ideal it's actually it's, it's only two cores 2.5 gigahertz and yeah i definitely need it or else i cannot run anything on my computer which but uh it's not meant to be much of a gaming computer it's just a civilization computer so i definitely recommend everybody with weak computers but if you have anything over like i5 if you have like an i5 ninth gen chip you guys probably don't need it with a decent amount of ram and a graphics card you definitely do not need it because you won't let, you can still run decently so this is working this is probably working the best so i'm going to run on northeast so i'm just going to click on fortnite i haven't played it in so long but i'm just going to test it out for you guys and yeah this fix or this reduce can also work on the looking for next available rig and i know northeast has the longest rigs uh, which, which, but it's tied with, um, East 2. So this also has a very long rig. But today, surprisingly, it doesn't really have much. Maybe it's because Fortnite's dying now. But, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just wait and see until it's done. And I'll show you guys the gameplay after. Uh, the reason, um, is it's probably showing less bandwidth is because I'm uh, recording right now. So if I wasn't recording, I'd probably make it to 50. Uh, mbps but since i'm recording that kind of um degrades the mbps so i'm just gonna cut back when i'm done also guys i just want to say do keep in mind that this is cloud-based meaning it all depends on your internet so if you generally have bad internet that like because i think the minimum you need is like i think 30 mbps but 50 is ideal to run everything and I have 150, but the reason it's showing 38 is because obviously I'm recording, so it's uh, gonna degrade a bit. But it still says the latency is gonna be 38, which I will definitely take. That is not laggy whatsoever. And latency is one of the main things that really annoys me when I'm like um, playing games. So yeah, I'm almost there. So yeah, if you guys have really bad internet, then I definitely wouldn't recommend. This won't be able to reduce the lag. I mean, it could help a bit, but you're still going to lag a lot if you don't have good internet. Since this is cloud-based, like, again, it all depends on network performance, the provider you have, the speed you have. So, yeah, if you guys have really bad speed, then this won't help. But if you guys have good speed, good provider, and you're still lagging, this probably will be able to help. So, I'm lagging quite a bit, but it's not that bad. So, it's still playable, as you guys can see. No, no latency, no lag. It's just some blurriness here and there, some spotty connection. That's probably due to my um bandwidth because it's low because I'm recording. So uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, then please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Like again, I'm gonna be posting a lot more now. I'm getting back into the YouTube grind, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. That's all. And as you guys can see, I'm just gonna, uh, uh, show you guys that even with recording, I'm not lagging as much because Northeast for me works the best. You guys just have to switch servers and see which server, server works best for you. So anyways, guys, this is, the, this is the end of, this is the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy this video, then please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And, uh, yeah, that's me. It's your boy Techram and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.